So Apple has just updated Final Cut Pro to Final Cut Pro 10.6.2. And in this video, I'm gonna show you some of the cool new features. So let's jump into it. Okay, so I know you're super busy, so I'm gonna run through these really fast. So the first feature is the ability now to show you duplicate clips in your timeline. So if we take this clip here, I'm gonna copy it, I'm gonna paste it over here. And what you can see is that we now have these sort of zebra lines across the clip. And this is to indicate that this clip has been used more than once. Now, this is not enabled by default. And what you'll need to do is simply click this icon up here and then make sure you have show duplicate ranges selected here. By default, it won't show that. Tick this on and you will see this here. You can also use your index and uh, if you click a clip, it will show you the other clip as well. So super handy if you're editing and you wanna find or know if you've used a clip somewhere in your sequence. Now, the next update is for vocals specifically, and this is really cool. So we went outside recently and um, essentially filmed um, some tests with microphones we had, and we recorded a couple using the inbuilt microphone of the Sony a7S III, which isn't that great. And you can hear with these two clips, I'll play these through, I'll just make sure I've got the effect turned off at the moment on both of these clips, and I have. And I'm gonna play each clip through and listen to the background noise. So let's play this first clip here. We're now in somewhat a little bit more quiet. This is a test with the inbuilt microphone on the Sony. Okay, so you can hear the birds and things in the background. The second clip, we actually had a digger in the background. So a lot of background noise in this. Listen to this. Our first test is with the built-in microphone on the Sony a7S III. As you can hear. Okay, so lots of background noise, not a particularly great microphone. So this, I'm really impressed with this. This is called voice isolation. So I'm actually gonna play this through and tick it on as we're playing this audio and just listen to how the background uh, noise disappears and we focus fully on the vocals. In microphone on the Sony. Our first test is with the built-in microphone on, on the Sony A7S III. As you can hear, it's a pretty windy day that? and we've got a digger in the background knocking down a building. So we Take thought this would be a perfect test for the Joby Wavo Pro. So now let's switch to that microphone. Okay, and again, I'm gonna try on this one here. So let's make sure it's off. We're now in somewhat a little bit more quiet. This is a test with the inbuilt microphone on the Sony a7S III, just to give so you- It really focuses in on your voice and really does isolate the voice. And I thought this would sound a little bit robotic sounding, but it doesn't at all. It sounds really good. Now, of course you can really ramp it up. And if you take it to the top, it will sound slightly distorted, but actually I think it's pretty good. So let me play this back now. This is with the 100% and we've got the digger in the background. Yeah. Our first test is with the built test is with the built-in microphone on the Sony A7S III. I'm As you can it hear, it's a pretty windy day, and we've got a digger in the background knocking down a building. So we thought this would be a so, perfect. So I'm pretty impressed with that. The next update is all about the trackers. So let's just add on a Gaussian blur here onto my face. You can see that works. We're gonna analyze that quickly. Let it do its thing in the background. Now, if you were adding text to this, what would happen um, sometimes is the text would start to kind of rotate and you would need to go into your inspector to actually change this. But now we've got this on, you can actually change this directly by clicking this drop down here. So instead of going to the inspector, finding your trackers, uh, you know, ed editing the settings there. You can actually just right click on this little box here and you've now got the ability to apply the tracker to position, rotation and scale. So if you just wanna take off the rotation, you can do that by ticking this new box here, which is really, really cool. So they are the main three updates in Final Cut Pro. Let me know what you think of those below and I think you're gonna enjoy this video up here. So I'll see you in that one.